I ain't hearing no more of this. I won that game fair and square. Oh, shit. Fair and square, my ass. Hey, whoa. Oh. When's the last time you fed your nag? Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. Your move. That's what I thought. <laughs> you know, I, I've lived here my whole life. I've seen this place go through hell and back, and I wouldn't change a thing. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper son. go real well with the saddle. Oh, you'd be wise to buy one from me. You barely have to handle these. They know just what you're after. I don't like this one bit.
Mister? What's your business here, stranger? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction. Like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. And all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. I think we're going the wrong way here. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. Okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax I ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough 
Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Road Saloon. Here we go. All right. Next stop, the Road Saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> what? Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Benton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Huh? Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor.
Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have one, Fenton. You. Me. You're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Jump. We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. I want both those guns. Oh, Let this go, are they? Over there! 
They got out the back. Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot. You think we wouldn't find you? Take up a career in, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Uh, <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? 
Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, 
Maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some food. Hello, ladies. Hello. Good morning. Come on. It's this way. On me. I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. And we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... A glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield. Keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that? Perch up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. 
Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. We gonna lose them, we give them this much space. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. You see anything through your scope? Just a moment. I'll wait on your say. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. I'll go. Prepare for your guns and your money. Give them up.
yet. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's start seeing what... Okay? Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. I don't like it. Oh! Get me faster! I can't see anyone chasing us. So what were you talking about before? I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately. And I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth brag. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like that, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Yeah, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this game. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur.
going. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! I know. We need food. How'd you know I was gonna say that? You're walking. You're only walking when you're not cooking, and you're only not cooking when there's not enough food. <laughs> Charles? Hey, Arthur. Interesting to see you eat. Why, sir? I thought the opium did it for your appetite. Usually does. I am not an opium user, Arthur. sir. Arthur! Arthur! I take morphine for medical reasons. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. <sighs> Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up a moving all the time. Mrs. Adler? You joining us then? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. No reason. Just making sure. All right, Arthur. <laughs> so, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Miss Grimshaw. Hi, Arthur. You do like a smoke, huh? I need one right now. Well, if anyone deserves a break, it's you. Well, just go on.
Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Where are we going? Duck wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. <laughs> Shit. This don't look so good. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. House. What do you think? You see anything there? This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Found anything? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Look. Tracks. Come on. Come on, before they get too far ahead.
went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Well, lead the way then. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Let's well, even. Hey, I can see more tracks this way. Tracks head up that path. What are you doing? Just get back on and let's go. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen the cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here! Come in! <laughs> You son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Okay, fellas. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Yeah. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. 
but he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brothers! Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. Quick, find them. They're trying to hide in the fields. you now you boys ain't leaving here we know who you are and we're coming for you get the hell out of here while you still can One more, Charles. Look at the birds. Go that way.
dumped his gear. Look around. You can't have gone far. Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. Take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Shots are coming from that barn! Come on! You out of bullets? be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What'd you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you, gentlemen, for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it.
Excuse me, partner. Good morning to you. But you goddamn war. Come on now, now I, I ain't asking for much. Just enough to eat. Just plain shocking. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, great none of you neighborly in the least. Mister, why did you leave me here? You gotta get me out, please. It's getting worse. Don't leave me down here, please. Oh, I remember you. All right, what do you want? Oh, hey, that's a piss poor move. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now. All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. Got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. He can't. Why are you wearing that? No, the chains. Shoot the chains. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. Please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. Don't take him away from me. He's all I got. Please don't listen to that maniac. He, he ain't my father. Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sorry. Son of a... Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that river bank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. 
You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Morning, dear. Morning, partner. <laughs> Long time, boy.
Whoa! Take up a moment longer than we got to. Give over your money and your valuables to my camp. Andre here, and we will be on our merry way. Please, please. No, 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 no. Don't, don't hurt us. We'll give you whatever we got. And all of it? You better forget all about right, this. Then. For me. Please, Jesus.
problem with me? Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Howdy, mister. Hello. Madam? Ah, I remember that face. My medicine's been keeping you healthy, I trust. Have a look. See you another time. What are you looking at? My apologies, sir. What do you want? This is private. Give off. Just get out of my way. Whoa. I don't need no man. Hold on. I'm not about Better to sell to you with that mask on. I need to get out of here. Let me oh. into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Thought you were that cowpoke who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like a nice little business you hell? got going. Shit!
Don't you go starting a ruckus in my store. Listen. Whoa! What the hell's the gun for? Open that thing. Now! Just leave me alive, please! Okay, uh, just let me pop it open here. Real easy to take from folks. A lot harder to give something back. Real kind of Christ. Now to clean up. This is for the lot of hell. What the hell is this? Hey, oh, Jesus Christ! What's this for? That's it. One foot in front of the other. Keep it up. Easy there. Yeah, nearly done, boy. go. Okay there.
Probably don't even have them. You're like animals. Evening, You're Arthur. Free. Could really I use some good meat for this stew. I'm in hell. Thank you, Arthur. I am a failure in every conceivable way. The morphia has me by the throats, and its embrace is brutal. The whiskey wants to drown me, and God won't let me go either. I can't stand it. It's tearing at me. I used to be a man of God. But now look at me. I'm just a wretch. And worse than that, a self-pitying one. Micah, 
What a day. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Well, do it quietly. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. Hi there. Hey there. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. <laughs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Kane do? 
a real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Arthur. We need to talk to you. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. 
Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, hey, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. Yep. this big can't go wrong plan of yours oh it can go wrong anything can once the shooting starts well that's reassuring like i said we'll see how it looks if we can get in all right we'll send miss jones ahead to the bank they won't recognize her i'll show you boys how it's done what are you thinking this time I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the bold man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. You got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. It takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, all right? So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured... They all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. Uh, I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Greys and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, there's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Hosea, while I do all the dirty work. Just like the old days. Something like that. 
can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. Keep it down now. We're here. Hello, gentlemen. Good morning, mister. Passing you. Stranger? That's the feller. Bastard. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now, where is he? If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Until she's gone real dead. Duck up in here. Not so goddamn. Good night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. Go no hurt up. Nobody move. Oh, make hurt you. Him. Just get in the vault. Here. Unlock the door. Whoa! 
Okay, we're going. Uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real down. Not so goddamn stuff that has knives. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Stop. Nobody move! Don't make us hurt! Here! Unlock the door! It's unlocked! I'm good! Oh! Oh, you think we're here for fun? No. Come on. Oh. Oh. Open the goddamn vault! Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. Get a move on. himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Now you shut the hell up and be still. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. It's taking too long. Blowing the doors. I'll go check the front. As I can. We need to get out of here. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are.
come if folk ain't dead in there, you won't swing. I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know. Give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What, are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> uh, well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> This is Downs. Uh. 
husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you have as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
Ah, uh, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah. Using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking as hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just not the hell, bitch. <laughs> Those ain't really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. But I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Yep. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. What do you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a ting. A, a, a ting. At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle of friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> oh, no. I mean you no harm. 
I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Grab this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> Quite a place you guys have got here. Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. Grand. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable. <coughs> <coughs> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. Then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Huh. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. 
strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Else the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Give this a quick dousing as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! You got a fire bottle, right? Go lure yourselves a fat cigar. You pay for it!
goddamn mess. They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them? They didn't tell me nothing. Look out! There's more of them! There goes out right out of here. The wagon we saw come in earlier. You can nick the horses from that. All right, where is it? This way! More guards coming in! I got the right here! Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Later. I, I got some business. Right you are, English. Another job well done, I'd say.
Never comes when they need it.
I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? They're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? To get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. up then, Morgan. Let's go then. Ha! You know, I've been fighting Combs for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Huh? Hey, 
Up there. Men on the ridge. Old Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como O'Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Look out! All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Hello, Dutch. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, I still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Hello, 
some sugar? You ain't dead, is you? Not yet, anyway! Hey! Alfred? I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella called <laughs> Frank, we can draw them all back. He's escaping and shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got him! I got him! <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet! <laughs> uh, no, of course not. <laughs> not yet. Uh, uh, uh. Put his weapons over there!
Shut up. I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? <clears throat> What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <laughs> My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty. Tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. 
I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Oh, hey, Dodge. Fuck it. Goddamn work, will you build, please? People's getting hungry. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, folks is wondering what's happened to you. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Nothing is right! That's the point! That's the point! Work, Mr. Morgan, folk need feeding! I never took you for the lazy type. Hey, Arthur. Okay, fella. Arthur! Are you busy, Arthur? 
Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. And very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how... Calden. Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. 
It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Come on, pal. Okay, let's go. This way. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Benefit to the opera. Blackwater. Just Mrs. Chester Damson. I flattered, buddy. Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Yo, 
York audience. They were rather cruel. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but... West Elizabeth. <laughs> Can we go, please? I got a train to catch. I want you to be quiet, you horrible little man. One more time. Madam, I have heard it up. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough, but Mrs. Sampson. My new So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Can I help you? Well, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. How about the stables, I think? Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Good 
turn up in town, you're helping everybody. And there's trouble everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed. Just who are you? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on a boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Those are the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Coming past. Okay. Move Torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property. Sean was like a pig and shit. Talking to Sean, he said to give you a message to meet him, Bill, and Mikey in town as soon as you can. Some other job they got going with the Graves. Another one? Uh, okay. I'll go see what they're up to when we're done with this. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then, but... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Yeah. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. That's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Hey. 
Do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. <gasps> uh huh, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Nice boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Now. Easy. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy. It's all right, boy. Easy. It's okay. Now, just a scratch. Wait. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. What the hell you doing? Stop! Stop! Fear up! I can't stop these men! Stop! Get out of my damn way! What are you doing? What are you doing, Arthur? Let's stay together! Watch out! There's guards by that way! They're sending out riders! Go!
Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come here. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. <clears throat> Easy. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop I'm Clay Davies that's my brother Clive we're twins John Arthur Javier <clears throat> so what are you Cuban no I don't like Cubans that so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Gotta get some food soon, Arthur. Food or money. But these bastards will eat up. I know, Dutch. I'm trying. I know. Hello, Molly.
morning, Arthur. Is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Fine morning. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> you know, it was before my time, of course, but... My mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood. But I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> Well, my father did that too. So, where are we headed? Back up to the heartlands. Okay. Feels like there's been so much noise and chaos recently. Do you mind if we just rode and enjoyed the silence for once? I need to clear my mind. Sure, fine by me.
Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attract. someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Alright. Lead the way. <laughs> Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Another dead bison to our left there. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. anything on there? Dogs haven't gone 
cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? See some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. those bison what's your problem i said did you fools shoot those bison <laughs> calm down you black or red bastard whatever the fuck you are did you shoot them yes we did we shot them bison we'll shoot you too if you don't get what business is it of yours what we <laughs> ah! it's that business of mine good god you're crazy i got a family a family don't shoot me Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you uh, killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't. Kill me. I'm begging you. All right. Now get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you... Who that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I can't enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
crazy now. been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what if they bored their fears? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs> Looks like most of them. 
Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Oh, you think you all? Bunch of two big thugs from God knows where? You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you, a hundred times over. This is the Grays town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Yeah. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Both of you, don't do it. You know, we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't dude. know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things.
Come on now, boy. Easy. Take a deep breath, okay? Relax. Everybody just calm down. Everybody just calm down. Now, I know you're worried, but we have everybody looking for him, and we are going to find his boy. We will find the boy. Calm down. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think... The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me. Turns up, you kill him. The rest of you, let's ride. Okay. Let's go get that boy back! They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear! I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. And if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on!
Sean. Now, Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going. Now. Like they don't know we're coming. Arthur, are you coming or what? We don't have all day. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! Don, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this...
told you there's no getting in this way. They got it locked. Where's the boy? Well, we have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about down? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, we reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? Uh, I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, 
We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. Hey, my boy. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. 
Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So you was just talking about something? You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. I'll check the house. You keep watch out. Here. Government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. one good come help me with this will you you coming Give me a hand moving these bodies. I don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there.
humble abode. We got fine living. You know the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, We'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes.
for the blind. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Now, what is your preferred color for this? Thank you. Let me vote. Let me vote. I can say this all day. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I will say this for as long as it takes. Come on, people. Let me vote. Mr. Well, don't you love me? There are a few colors you can go with for this one. If I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else? People around here come in just for those. Thank you very much. Isn't it 
I feel almost human. Nothing says dignified like a well-fitted vest. That is one of my favorites. I only sell high quality garments. A pair of trousers from me is an investment in your future. can do to help you leave here feeling good and looking great. That always brings an outfit together. That is a local favorite. Excellent choice. I have plenty more great items. Now, what's going on in here? Hey so... What do you think? Wearing it out? I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. And that should be good. Bonsoir, monsieur. Eh bien. Move! Careful. to you.
Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in on. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's <laughs> Excuse me. <a> French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Hello? Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend. You'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob Brad. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you <laughs> little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. Get back here.
me up of that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. Got him. Come on! Keep up! Thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now, give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <gasps> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Excuse me. Howdy, fellas. On and with Buenos días, señor. your face. No need for the mask. I saw your face. No need for the mask. Don't think I like you around it. Here. Wait. Yep. God damn it, I'm taking you in.
Morning, mister. Just back off. Hope that wasn't directed toward me, friend. Mike. What's going on here? Tell me. Morning, mister. Stop sleepwalking. Where you been? 
getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Hey, ma'am. Fine morning to you. Hello, gentlemen. Morning, sir. Morning. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Huh. Morning, mister. Facing away, lady. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just see some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This is the place. <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. 
Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Con i soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman, Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. All right, let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. 
Let's hitch the horses up ahead. You can rest now, partner. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. This way. What the hell? Just some damn birds. Come on. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Hang on. There might be something. Keep it down. Don't want them to bolt on us. expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. Okay, I'll lead. You watch behind me. doing this I know but you won't care once we get the boy back that bastard better keep his word of all the ways I thought today was gonna turn out this sure weren't one of them I'll try this way hey did you hear that Keep going. Sorry, uh, I had a bit to drink. My friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Why do I 
get the feeling Bronte's got his feet up laughing at us. first shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers we've hit the big time we can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it Arthur Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it.
Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Whoa! Looks like we lost them for now. Come on. Let's just get there. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there and collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. All right, let's get this done. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Me. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right! Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh! He'll be there, too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> 
So, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family.
that was a big night. Mark, uh... Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Her I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. <laughs> All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Thank you. I swear half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappear. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said... You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs>
used to. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, you're gonna pay! For you! That girl owns us! Hey, they're heading down the hill to the water! back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Let's go for a ride. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny... Watch you, pal. Oh, shit. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed him, coward. Bastard. She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do Shut with the hell up? All right, all right. Damn it. this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away 
and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. All right, you. <laughs> Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. Whoa! What happened, man? My horse threw me, and I landed on my foot, and I heard a snap. My leg's all numb. My leg! It hurt so bad! Hands up now! Hey, you best damn well listen. <sighs> Fine. Hold it. Yes, you got me, lady. Nothing, yokel. Come on, let's go. Quick. Come on, before this idiot gets smart. What did he have on him? We can count later. Let's fly, boys. Oh, 
Okay, girl. Yep. Hey, Arthur. Hey. All good out here? I think so, but... Well, I don't know. I thought I heard something. That's uh, probably nothing. Okay. Well, stay alert. Any sign of trouble, you shoot first. Of course. Trapped. In a swamp. Yeah. It's like hell on Earth. It beats freezing to death. How have you been, Arthur? Okay. You seem well, Reverend? Yes. Well, maybe. I've been okay before, but then I make a fool of myself again. So do I. I went into town. So did I. If I was still a, a religious man, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've, I've given up on all that. Hmm. Me too, Reverend. I met a monk. I had your stuff unloaded. Thank you. I put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms. I thought that would be a little nicer for you. I mean, the place is a dump, but 
We can survive here. Yes, it's, uh, it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to the end of the landing. Thank you. Okay, Arthur. Who's that? You? Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch Vanderlind is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know.
This away, please, gentlemen. Uh, Senior Brante will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the man behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, the thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. So, <laughs> this is Saint Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way. All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. 
Unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out of old Cornwall. What's his name? Milton. No. suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint-Denis. It ain't complex, then you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny your idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man... This man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. <laughs> Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My oh, lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. 
Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Congo. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of the big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here, helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. 
And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the Taylors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Uh.